Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to do a bit of a random haul. So you may or may not know I'm a bit of a shopaholic. I kind of have a problem and I will be the first to admit that. But I figured I would also just kind of before I put things away, put things away, I just... Sometimes I get overwhelmed with the amount of shit that I buy and there are things still around the house in bags That's how much of a problem I have So I figure if I open everything up with you guys on camera show you what I've got give you a little bit of insight if I've already used it or not um, And then that will kind of motivate me to put it away and be organized with my life Maybe probably not, but we'll see I literally have so much just random stuff some makeup some clothing some like food things some random things so I'm literally just gonna kind of jump into things and we'll go from there so the first thing that I bought was from Amazon I haven't even really opened it up I did use the box to squish a bug though so I have to be very careful <laughs> with which side I'm actually touching because that's gross the first item that I bought the item from um, Amazon was a sweet sweat belt I've seen quite a bit of this on Instagram and so I kind of got suckered in and it had really good reviews on Amazon as well. And then I also got their Sweet Sweat Workout Enhancer Coconut Bar. Can you see that? Um, this is like, I think it kind of looks like a deodorant stick and you rub it all over and it really helps to enhance the amount that you sweat, I think. It's supposed to be coconut, maybe I'm just like congested, but I don't smell, I don't smell a damn thing. But it's just like this, it's like literally like a deodorant stick. And I don't smell anything. It smells, um, I do smell a little bit of like burnt skin after you go to the tanning salon, if that makes sense. I don't know, maybe that, I do have um, a cold, so that could be impairing my judgment but I'm really I haven't obviously haven't used these yet but I'm really excited to use them um, because my trouble zone is my gut my multiple guts um, and so I'm excited to see if this actually works I'm trying to challenge myself to do at least a couple of in-home workouts every single week I'd like to do four this week so I'm even gonna try this on when I'm doing something kind of simple and basic just to see how it goes if you guys are interested in a future video I will go ahead and let you know how these two items work together and what I think of them so just let me know down below and we'll kind of put that to the test what do you guys think of my hair do you love it do you love the bald spot so the next piece that I picked up to the left of me here, to the right of me here, I do know my directions, thank you, um, is this little Nine West bag. I am kind of always on the hunt for a nice black basic bag or just any bag in general. And the kind of handbags that I tend to gravitate to um, enjoy are large black bags. So I grabbed this at Macy's. They were having a really good sale. It's actually really, oh. There's that. Uh, it's actually really cute. Um, I haven't, I honestly haven't even like taken it apart, but it has like the pockets in here and then it buttons. Um, and it has, oh, it has something else in here. This, see, this is what I'm saying. I got this probably two weeks ago and I haven't even, well, that's neat. It like has a little buckle. I don't really know. And then it's pretty big. So, um, like I said, I'm just looking to like update my bag wardrobe and, um, you know, I always end up with a black bag, but I guess it's okay because it ends up being super versatile and one that I actually use, but I thought this one was really cute. So Little Nine West, it was on sale at Macy's if I can find it. I don't know if it will still be on sale because I've had it for a minute, um, but if I can find it, I will certainly link it down below. So the next items are kind of random and I just kind of purchased them all over the place, but they were in the same bag. So we're going to go into it. I got some more of these Sonoma Creamery um, cheese crisps. So this is the Parmesan. I got some bacon cheddar crisps and just some basic cheddar crisps. They have some pretty decent stats. Um, like the cheddar one has 150 calories for about six pieces. There's about two servings in here. Uh, 150 calories, six carbs, and 10 grams of protein. So something I'm all I'm like a snacky girl, so I want something um, crunchy and I like you know something salty. So these really come in handy, especially late at night when I'm just looking to put something in my mouth. Um, I will reach for these a lot of times. I was just playing on the camera with the light setting, so I'm sorry if it was too bright then or too dark now. 
I don't really know I'm just going off of what I can see in the viewfinder and I think this is a little bit different so or better so the next thing that I wanted to talk about is something that I've purchased over and over again and I actually really really love it's the Dove body polish um, they have like four different scents I think it's um really they're delicious um, this one's kind of this one is the crushed macadamia and rice milk it smells so good it's literally just like a body scrub um, but it's literally gotten my skin so smooth I use it almost every time I take a shower on like my legs and my arms and stuff so I have to exfoliate I have um, what's called KP I don't even know what it stands for but it's where um, like I get clogged hair follicles so like on the back of my arms I get them on the back of my legs so exfoliating on a regular basis really helps to get rid of any like bumpy um, or rough texture on my skin which I do get a lot of so exfoliating for me dry brushing beforehand I've talked about that in an earlier video dry brushing before I get into the shower is great um, it's when you take like a stiffer bristled brush and brush uh, literally on your skin you brush up towards your heart or in the direction of your heart it supposedly helps with cellulite and obviously sloughing off any of the dead skin cells but it just really gets your skin prepared and I really love doing that another kind of on that trend of exfoliation I just got this quick little um, bath mitt at Marshall's yesterday um, I didn't even like open it because it's sealed but um, it's not really super rough but I just wanted something that I could quickly you know run over my skin and help exfoliate with that as well um, because you know especially going into the summer you want nice smooth soft skin and exfoliating is a must for me I have to do it the next thing that I got at Marshall super rando but they are curate our K cups from Starbucks the creme brulee I like to buy flavored coffee that way it really helps to minimize the amount of like creamer that I'm having to add into it like flavored creamer a lot of the times sugar free is great but they don't have a ton of variety so sometimes I will even resort to getting sugar full creamer and I don't like to do that so if I can add a little bit of flavor in here um, I need to start experimenting with like some syrups or whatever uh, are out there or some different like flavorings um, but for right now I really like to go the route of getting flavored K-cups um, for my coffee my morning coffee and that kind of helps to limit the need for excessive creamer flavorings you know so the next few things that I got um, were are a few Oh shit are a few pieces of clothing um i got these look at <laughs> look how tiny these are clearly by spanx they are so adorable they are camel print um crop top crop top crop pants i haven't obviously tried these on they're spanx so they're supposed to suck you in so i get that but this is probably the size of one of my thighs so your girl doesn't know how that's gonna work out i don't even know what size i got i got them in a 1x so we're gonna have to see I think they said their 1x was like a 16 18 or something like that so if I can I will try and try these on I wonder if by stretching them out I mean I would hope not because they're Spanx and they were hella expensive um yeah you don't get too much of like a you know when you stretch a fabric out and it like goes white so you don't get that too much I will see if I can do a try on if I can I'll insert it here um but yeah they're super cute oh my god can you imagine I wish my little tush was that big oh that looks like it would fit my niece okay I'm depressed <laughs> the next couple of items I actually just grabbed online um, at Walmart I also have already um, spilled coffee on one of them it's just these little um, fit tanks this one says love the way you work it I think right yeah uh, love the way you work it in some gold foiling I really really like that but I already stained it with coffee so I gotta wash that um, the second one that I got is another tank and it says reinvent yourself but I just really loved the like tropical um print in the lettering there and I've, I've really been loving I picked one up um in an earlier an, in an earlier haul I picked one up that was black and white and I love it super comfortable I like the fit of it I like the cut of it so I wanted to go ahead and pick these up because I think they were like eight dollars seven or eight dollars which is really great okay on to some makeup here so this might be a little bit lengthy we'll try and zip through it a little bit here um if you're interested in any further review or any further like demonstration of the products that i'm going to show you let me know down below i'm not going to really go into a ton of like swatching and things like that i just don't know how many of you are going to really enjoy that but if you do let me know and i'll whip them back out i'll whip it back out for you um and we'll do a little bit of a swatch video or review or whatever you want tutorial just let me know down below and i'm happy to do that so the first thing i actually just just picked up it is Tarte's chrome paint hello yeah this is not this is not anything i 
picked it up in top yacht y'all it's what i have on um like my middle lid right now you guys i'm gonna swatch this one because you guys have no idea what it is that we're working with so there's that ready one swipe oh you're not even gonna be able to see it very well because of the lighting let's see um yeah it's like super reflective i really wish you could see it uh it's amazing but like i said it's what i have on the middle of my lid right now and even the inner tear duct um it's gorgeous i have been interested in these for a while and then i was in the store over this past week and uh happened to try it out and i'm dead i'm literally dead they have so many beautiful colors but a lot of them were like coppery and i have a ton of shadows and i don't usually wear like an orangey coppery shadow um but if i can find a really nice bronze one i might pick it up because it's freaking bomb and it's literally like one swipe uh and it's like one and done okay um the next thing that i picked up was also from tarte maybe i don't know should i do you show these in boxes do you not it's the tarte clean slate timeless primer just looks like this a cute little bo uh, packaging and then it's just like a putty almost, um, but it's supposed to be really smoothing and pore filling. I heard Tati or Glam Life Guru talk about this a lot, so I did want to give this a try. I also got this uh, a few days back, so I'm excited about that. I got one other thing, one more thing from Tarte here, and it's a little bit silly but super necessary. It's just their lash applicator. Um, I use tweezers to put my lashes on, and you know, I just always feel like I lose those. Um, and these are just hella cool so it's just like almost like tweezers but you go ahead and you just pick your lash up and you stick it on it's really nice okay my phone just randomly goes off all of a sudden i don't know I don't know um but this is a really neat lash applicator it is just like tweezers so you see that here you can go ahead and grab your your lashes but it has a really nice shape to it um where you can go ahead and like where you can go ahead and like squeeze your lashes down and make sure that everything's set so these are really really cool i really like these they were like 14 dollars. if you're a lash girl i highly suggest looking into these because these are bomb the next thing that I picked up, I grabbed, um, is this NARS Radiant Cream. Is it Radiant Creamy Concealer? I don't know. No, it's a Soft Matte Complete Concealer. It's the little one in the pot here. I got it in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. So it is literally just like a creamy concealer that you dip in with your finger or a little concealer brush. I use that for my under eyes. I really, really like this. It's pretty heavy coverage, um, but it really does eliminate any like dark circles that I have. It's a very beautiful finish too. It just really works very well. I don't have any creasing issues under my eyes when I use this, so I really love this one. Um, I've had like a, a sample of it before for, so I knew I really liked it but I never actually picked it up until recently so I'm getting back into using this otherwise I've been using like my sh my sharp my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer um but this one I really really like the finish and the coverage that it gives so I have been dabbling into this a little more the next piece that I recently picked up was from Anastasia it is their bronzer um it's in the color Tawny i bought this online and it was kind of hard to like choose a shade online it's like looks a little reddish but I think it really goes on beautifully I don't have any issue with this color I am wearing it today but I always ugh, this like bald spot's gonna it's all I can look at can I like put some hair there um it's not even like that bald but in the light it's like just reflecting my scalp like in the mirror it doesn't look that bad but I'm being played so um it was really hard to choose a color, but it is something that I have on right now. I do layer my bronzers, though, so I have multiple things on my face right now. But I really, really enjoy this. It's a beautiful formula. I'd love to get more colors. Um, they just come, came out with them, but I do think that they are, you know, in their permanent collection. So, you know, it's not something I have to run out and buy, but I really am enjoying this. I also did pick up but I've had this for a while and I was like oh do I include it like the soft glam you guys have seen and then I got the Anastasia um Reezy pal um highlighter wow I have like the worst glare situation and it's stunning it's a beautiful situation um it's beautiful on 
it's really bright i'm sorry guys but just know it's absolutely freaking beautiful um to have on it's gorgeous so i recommend that as well another couple of things that i grabbed were are from stila they're shimmer and glow um shadows they're like liquid shadows i had some of their glitter and glows and they're beautiful and then these are kind of a new formula um so the first one that i picked up was is in pigale i don't really know if that's how you say it but it's like a really pretty cranberry color can we focus no it's a really pretty cranberry color i will swatch this one over like really beautiful just for, like a liquid shadow and then the second one that i picked up is twig and this is more of like my this is more of like my signature color like a bronzy shade so i'll swatch that one too Oh, oh. So you can see them there. They're really, really beautiful as liquid shadows. I always like to put something down as a base, and these I got to kind of use as a base, but then I been, end up just using them on their own as like an actual shadow on the mobile lid, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So I really am enjoying this. Like I said, this is the Stila Shimmer and Glow, not the Glitter and Glow, Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Beautiful. A couple of pieces that I picked up are from a brand called Lemonhead LA. I've already gotten the caps like super dirty. called Lemonhead LA and there are these incredible they're called space pastes but they are these incredible glitter like gel formula so it's glitter in a paste like formula almost oh I'm really pissed that you're not gonna be able to see this I'm gonna have to try and figure it out try and insert a clip or something of these um, glitters because they're stunning uh, I'll try one in adult film. I picked up Houdini, which is a limited edition. I'll go ahead and like show you the differences when I can get into better lighting. And then Dirty Penny, which you'll obviously be able to see here. But these are amazing. Like the formula is incredible. Obviously, they're in this like gel like consistency. So there's not a ton of fallout. You don't get any fallout when you're putting it on. And even throughout the day, I don't experience it like flaking off unless I'm messing with my eyelids. But it's literally so beautiful i've seen them on a couple a couple of youtubers and on instagram so i knew i had to run out and grab some i was wearing it in my wig video i think i had one of the um i think i had adult film on the eyelids and it's just so beautiful especially for spring and summer i love glitter no matter what but these are just such beautiful colors i'll have to insert something here for you all right, so the phone camera is not as smart as the other camera so it works better so dirty penny on the top that is adult film. Look at how gorgeous that is in the middle. It's like a, a like a pastel multicolor glitter. And then Houdini is the bottom. So look at how you can like not see it until the light hits it. And it's this gorgeous lavender color. It's literally, they are so stunning. See how you can only really see the, the dirty penny one. And then when you get into the light, it's just magic. Like these look beautiful on your eyes. This is the Lemonhead LA paste, space paste. And it's gorgeous. The Houdini one is limited edition, so I would suggest if you're interested getting that ASAP. Um, the middle one, again, is adult film, and then I believe that's Dirty Penny, but they're gorgeous. Literally gorgeous. Yes. This item that I got, again, is also dirty. Story of my life is the Mario KKW palette. So this is Kim Kardashian and her makeup artist Mario, blah, 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 I don't know how to say his last name, um, the palette that they collabed on together and it's really really pretty. It is very pretty. Um, it's I wanted to be super wowed by this because it was so hyped online. It was super hyped on YouTube um, by like influencers and beauty people. Um, and it's really beautiful don't get me wrong it's absolutely the colors are gorgeous but i just wasn't as impressed as i was hoping to be with it um i think it was like 45 dollars, which isn't that bad but um i don't know like i'm not gonna wear the blue shade uh, i'm not gonna wear the blue shade very much and i feel like everything else is pretty like basic and so i was really hoping to be really wowed with the formula and it's nice but i wasn't super wowed so it is what it is. Don't shoot me. Do not come for me. Last couple of things that I bought. I have to grab them. Um, were from MAC. I got, y'all, they had the most amazing glitter display at my Ma at my Macy's MAC counter. Um, so I just got these, uh, this bottle of glitter in bronze. Dang. 
this lighting. It's really beautiful. I haven't played with it yet, but you know, it's glitter. And then I got the Fix Plus with the gold and the pink light. So this is the gold light. I don't know. You're not gonna be able to see anything, but you can hear there's like a little ball in here because it has little pigment, a little bit of pigment at the bottom. I don't know if you can see like the separation there. So it has a little bit of pigment. You shake it up with that ball and then it's like this shimmery Fix Plus. Fix Plus is amazing, first of all. I can't do my makeup without it. It really just helps to set your face, but also melt in any powder so you don't have like this powdery cast on your face. It really melts your makeup into your skin to make it look more natural. This does not make it look more natural. I do have on the gold, and it just gives me like this incredible shimmer to my face. I feel like you have to kind of be about that life. Like you gotta know going into this that it's noticeable, you're gonna glow, and it's gonna be everywhere. And and I'm so okay with that. It's not even funny. So I initially went in and I was like, give me the gold. And then I was checking out and I was like, give me the pink. I'm going to hate myself if I don't get it. Um, they say the gold is much more noticeable, like as far as the, the glitter content in it. I don't see like glitter particles on my face, but I do feel very, very glowy when I have this on. But with the pink, it gives a bit of a, like a pink cast. In my opinion, um, the, the pink is more noticeable because it gives like a pink reflect when you're in the sunlight or in the light it just casts a bit of obviously pink so um i feel like that one is more noticeable in my opinion but who am i i bought them both because i absolutely love them Last item that i purchased i just recently got in the mail and i am so excited about um it is also has been super hyped online and that is like what influences the majority of my purchases. YouTube made me do it is the story of my life. That's just, I only buy things that YouTube recommends to me. Um, it is the Tatcha, what is it called? Hold please. It's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Okay, if you watch beauty videos, this has been like super hyped. So again, my lighting sucks balls. You're not going to see a ton of it, but it's, again, something very similar to the Tarte um, primer that I showed you where it's like a, a putty almost, and they say just to like literally take a little pea-sized amount and you can prime your whole face, and it really helps with the pore filling. I do have it on today. Um, it looks beautiful, I will say. Like, it did help to clog my pores. It did help to like um, diminish the look of my pores. I struggle with pores on my nose and right here on my inner cheeks and even my forehead, and um I feel like it definitely kind of blurred things out for me, so I'm very thankful for that. So I've only used it today because I did just did just get it in the mail over the weekend. So again, um, if you want further information, further review on any of these products, um, further detailed video, just let me know. It even comes with like this little scraper thing that you're supposed to like scoop the product out on. Oh, you're supposed to scoop. Okay, I get it. So if you want any further information on any of these products, let me know down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the video down below. If you guys, again, I'm a bit of a shopaholic. I have a problem. So if you guys are interested in like the random things that I buy um, on a regular basis, let me know because Lord knows, I mean, I still, I went to Target this morning and bought more stuff. I bought this shirt and more stuff that I'm not even showing you here because that's what I do. I just buy too much stuff and collect it over time and that's the story of my life. So let me know down below if you guys are interested in this kind of video. I can do them on, on the regular because that's just what I do. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you're new channel, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe down below. I appreciate you. Leave me a comment as to how you found me. Maybe if you want, <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to do anything, but just know that I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all your comments, all your love and support, your likes, your thumbs down. It is what it is. You're entitled to your opinion. I don't quite agree, but uh, I, it, it is what it is. I appreciate you all. Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great, fabulous day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.